Watching out for you this morning as firefighters continue to battle the many wildfires burning in Colorado. We're taking a look at the many ways that you can help with the effort. News 5's Renee Skinner joining us live with more on how agencies like the Red Cross are helping families who have lost everything. Good morning, Renee. Good morning, Bree. That's right. If you're looking to help people affected by the Cameron Peak fire, one way to do so from home is by giving a monetary donation. And you can give to agencies like the Red Cross, the Larimer Humane Society, as well as Volunteer America. More than 100 Red Cross disaster workers are working around the clock to make sure people have food, a safe place to stay, relief supplies, and a shoulder to lean on. Not only that, but there is now a great need for temporary housing and transportation of animals. The Lar Farmer Humane Society is housing dozens of barnyard animals displaced by the fire. The Humane Society doesn't need food or supplies. However, if you're interested in providing housing for animals affected by the fire, you can help that way. Any way you can give will make a difference. To hear that, that the resources from other areas are coming here and helping us, I, I, I'm speechless. We're, we're here, we stick together as a neighborhood and help one another the best we can through this horrific time. So again, if you can't give time, think about giving in other ways. Even an amount as small as $10 can go a long way to help the Red Cross prepare for, respond to, and help people recover from these disasters. Our sister station in Denver, Denver 7, has started a new fundraising campaign to help fire victims. There's also volunteer fire departments in the Lar County area who need supplies. We'll talk more about how you can give uh, later on in our show, but for now, always watching out for you, El Paso County. Renee Skinner, News 5.